Alright guys, today we have an iPhone 7 that is has a cracked screen, obviously. And they're claiming that the reception keeps dropping like it says searching. And they've done every software thing they possibly can. So they want me to put a new um, cellular antenna in it. So this is our cellular antenna that we're going to put in there. This is on an iPhone 7. And we're going to replace the screen as well. We'll also check out this antenna and see um, what we think might be the the cause. But they said they tried everything software related and, and nothing. Um, down here at the bottom, there's going to be two penelope screws. You're going to take these out. I already have. But you're going to take out these two penelope screws at the bottom. Now you're going to take your heat gun or hair dryer, whatever you have. And you're going to heat around the corners of this iPhone 7. You're going to go until it's hot to the touch. I mean, we can't really damage the LCD anymore. It's already broke. And then you're going to take your pry tool. It's just a little sesamo tool. And you're going to start prying at the bottom. And around the sides, you're going to come all the way up to the top. On this side, you're going to do the exact same thing. All the way up to the top. And once you do that, you're going to lift up on the bottom. And you're going to wiggle it out. And it's going to have a gap up here. And you're going to go up here with your pry tool. Until you get all this adhesive loose. Once you get that adhesive loose, you pull down a little bit. And it should open up just like a book. Now you're going to take your Y screwdriver. You're going to remove one, two, three, four screws on this battery plate. When you lay these out, try to lay them exactly how you're putting them in. It'll just make it a lot easier when you're putting it back in there and avoid any kind of long screw damage. There we go. Sometimes when you lift this off, it's kind of glued to the battery and the battery cable will come off. Just like it did right there, that battery cable came off. This is why we were having trouble. The little thing that holds the screw in was loose. All right, so you're gonna pop that loose. You're gonna take your fingernail or a plastic pry tool and you're just gonna get underneath this cable and lift it up. Same thing right here, just get under this cable and lift it up. Once you have those lifted up, now we're gonna go up here to the camera part. You're gonna move two screws. These are gonna be your regular Phillips screws. So we'll go back to our regular screwdriver. You're gonna remove these two screws. And once again, with the plastic pry tool or your fingernail, just lift this little cover out of the way and then pull up on your cable. And once you do that, you can release the screen. There's some adhesive on the sides. You can pull that off. And if some stays, that's fine. It'll kind of help when you put the screen back down, kind of hold it a little better. So I usually don't take it off too much. Now we're going to get under this um, antenna, the cellular antenna. And we're going to go ahead and replace it first. As you can tell, this antenna is right here. Sorry. It's right here. And it looks like according to this, it connects to this. There's two little connectors right here. It connects to this top one. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this screw. And then see if I can lift up on this cable. This little connector. There we go. Got it loose. Sometimes you have to take out like... The whole motherboard. I'm hoping I don't have to. This is the first time I've replaced the antenna on this particular phone. So we're going to go down here for right now. We're going to unscrew the screw that holds down the antenna. And the screw is going to be like that one we had earlier that's I'm screwing out like the, uh, the bottom screw that holds it in. I mean, it's out. Let's see if I can lift it up. So that's out. And I guess technically we didn't have to unscrew this screw over here. So we're going to go ahead and put it back. There we go. It's being a little bit of a pain, but we got it. Alright, now we're going to look at this antenna and see how we need to pull it off. We're going to need to get underneath it. I don't really see anything that shows this antenna's bad. sit. Looks like it pulls out right there. And that way. And then that way. There's that antenna. It's really hard to tell. There's like a, a tiny bit 
of gray right there where maybe it was bent. Um, but other than that, the antenna doesn't really look horrible. That's just the only thing I can see. It looks like a little bend where I can see a little bit of the inside of the little cable that runs in there. So hopefully that was what was causing him to lose reception. So we're going to go ahead and take out this antenna. Carefully. Be careful if you have to pull it out of one of these bags. This part is a little bit sticky. And if it sticks in that bag and you rip too hard, you might just rip the whole antenna and then we're back to square one. There's two little um, holes on this antenna, right there and right there. You want to make sure these holes line up just right. Push this antenna down. Like I said, it is a little sticky. So we'll push it down real good. And then we'll go ahead and screw this in. It looks like this antenna might have a little, might supposed to have a little bend in it. Yeah, I think it does. Okay. Okay. And then if you can get under this, you just push it back in there. And the same thing right here. You can push it back in there. And then this actually goes over here. Sorry, probably not real good for the camera. And you're gonna line this up right over the little connector. Push it down until you hear a little click. Good little click. All right. All right. Since that's in place, we're going to go ahead and go back to the screen now. I always like to start at the home button. It's going to be one, two, three, four screws. All um, Y screwdriver. I think it's called a tri-wing screwdriver, but it's basically a Y. And I have about three of these just in case one kind of starts to get a little dull or it's eating out one, you can swap back and forth. Um, right here, this little home button connector, I usually put my fingernail on the bottom and lift the top up like that. Now this is the most important part, I think, of this whole repair. So what you're going to do is you're going to get underneath this cable, put pressure against the actual plastic frame, and try to get underneath this cable and just gently rise it up. What happens a lot, I've seen, where people get, and you wanna get some tweezers that are like this, that are not sharp. You get tweezers that are sharp and it cuts into this cable and if you mess up the home button cable, it, your home button is basically non-existent. You can't replace it unless you send it to Apple. So be careful. Now we're going to the side. There's one, two, three on this side. We're still using the tri-wing Y screwdriver. Flip it over. One, two, three on this side. And these are all the same size um, screwdrivers, so you can kind of just put them in a pile. You don't have to organize these very well. You just want to make sure they're in the pile. You know where that pile is. Up here, we're going to remove these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, these, most of these are different sizes, so you do want to make sure when you take these out. We're going back to our regular screwdriver. You're going to make sure when you take these out that... You line them up and lay them out exactly how they are screwed in here. Because like I said, they are all basically different size screws. You don't want to cause any long screw damage. I'm going to lay the little cable over there. Now this is, this um, speaker is magnetized. So lay it to the side. If you lay it with your screws, it's going to attract all your screws. And before you know it, all your screws are together and you better know what hole they went in. The whole part of us laying them out was basically for nothing. Right here, I'm just trying to get underneath um, this cable. It's got the little gold circles on it. And then I lift it up. And then once I do that, I go up here to the proximity sensor and I pull on this side. Now, sometimes it comes out like that. Sometimes it doesn't. So I'll go from this way. And then once you do that, you want to go back to this. Stay underneath, stay underneath. And then same thing, you're going to kind of put pressure on the plastic part of the frame. And then just gently lift up. And when you lift up, this should just come right off. And it did. So there's that. Last thing to do is just take off this heat shield. Sometimes it's stuck down here a little bit. This heat shield is pretty brittle. So 
So if you bend it any, make sure you kind of flex it back. There's our screen. Let's go ahead and get one of our replacement screens. I'm going to lay this on top. Line up all your holes. Once all your little holes are lined up, you can go ahead and that little pile you had earlier that you were doing the side ones, you can start taking some screws from that pile. Same thing, tri-wing screwdriver, Y screwdriver. Should be three on each side. You're just gonna keep screwing them in. And there is this little piece of metal right here. You just want to kind of put it behind your cables. I'll do a little more of a close-up here in a second so you see it. This little piece of metal right here, I've seen some of these are out in front. I mean, I don't think it's really going to do any damage, but... I mean, it's there for a reason. It's got to be. Why would they make it? So just do it right. Like I said, I think if you forget it, it's not going to mess up your screen or anything, but... If you're going to do it, do it right. Home button, come in from the bottom. Push up. Just line it up on the... There's a little hole, just like earlier when we were lining up the antenna. Just gonna make sure that hole fits down there. And then we're just gonna snap um, the home button on. You should hear a little click. Once you do that, lay back our shield. Screw in our four screws. Uh, when you're screwing these in, just screw them until you feel some resistance. You don't want to... Sometimes you got to push on the home button on this one from the other side. You don't want to overdo it. Um, you just want to push... You just want to screw it in until you feel a little bit of resistance. And then just leave it alone. Don't over-screw it. Now up here, we're going to take our camera and everything. There's going to be... There's two holes right here. You're basically just going to line these two holes up. Push these little gold prongs down. And you're going to come up here to the top. And the proximity sensor is this little square. And on the frame, there's a little square holder that this thing goes in. And sometimes when they give you these screens, the little um, gray holder is kind of a little bit crooked. So you have to kind of tilt it a little bit. But you just want to hear it kind of snap in there like everything else. There's a speaker, gold prongs at the bottom. I mean, when you line these, line the speaker up on the holes, you really can't put it in there wrong. I'm going to lay this cover over the top. Kind of hold this down a little bit with our finger. Start grabbing our screws in the order that we left them. And like I said, the uh, speaker is magnetized. So every now and then when you're trying to put these screws in, they'll kind of go, they'll kick off to the side or whatever only because of that um, magnetism you got on the speaker. So just kind of take your time and just keep trying. Same thing, don't want to screw these in too hard. Just take a little bit of resistance. And I always just kind of look at it, make sure it looks flush, it does. These down here need to be touching, you really can't see them, but if the top is flush, the bottom usually is too. So we're gonna start connecting this back. I always do the camera connection first. Usually hear a click. I didn't really hear a click, but I can tell that it's in there. So I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. Down here, we're gonna connect this one. Heard a click, and on this one, the same thing. You're just trying to listen for a click. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the power now. We're gonna lay it down before we screw in the final screws. See if we can power it on, and then um, kind of test the screen out a little bit. We'll just give it a minute to power on, make sure the home button's working, the touch is working. If something's not working, we can reconnect it. Um, if it ever stays on this Apple logo for an extended period of time and you're just waiting for it to load up, load up, load up, more than likely something to do with the home button was not connected right. So take it off, reconnect the home button. Sometimes it could be in the camera too, so make sure that that's pushed down as well. Um, this one came on. Right now it's not letting me touch it. So we could have an issue with 
the touch, the digitizer. Um, I had it before where the phones just turn on and it just takes them a minute for us to kind of um, work. See, now it's, now it's touching. Not now. Home button's working. Touch looks like it's working. There's our Cricut LTE, so we have service. We got three bars out of four, so it is working. <laughs>